This is the Bro Day Pod. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bro Day hashtag No Plan B podcast. It is season two. See, 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 season two. And season two is. A is the season. sting season, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that played through. I think it did. If it didn't, we'll fix it in post. Yeah, I'll have to fix it. In- we oh, probably won't fix it. We post. probably won't fix it. There's a lot of stuff we say we'll do and then we never do. Like in the Xmas pod, you were like, oh, you can Can you edit this in the thumbnail? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burr. Yeah, you didn't. And again, we said there we was... released the Christmas episode of Christmas and we also didn't do that. And so. saying that though. It's out now. As a part of season two, I said I'll drop it some random date in May. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> some random, some date, random in date in May having it drop. Anyway, intros. This is the Brody hashtag no plan B podcast. My name is Gabriel Zaya, bro. My name is Trent today. And we're bro day. We certainly are. And this is episode number nine. Now, if you've never heard of us. I'm so glad you're keeping track with the numbers. I have to. Because I have, I have really dropped the ball with yeah. how this pod progresses. Oh, brother. It's so bad. I was like, what are we, 12, 13? I don't know. No, nah, we bro. Are. We're at episode nine. Because we had um, episode eight was the Lost Xmas pod, which <laughs> was so much fun to re- rewatch and re-listen to. I had so much heartbreak having lost season one, the bread or cheese. Oh, yeah. The bread or cheese gimmick. The I think forbidden the, text. The forbidden text was well funny. I popped <laughs> the, huge for that. The forbidden text. I popped huge for that at the time and even on watch and listen back. I was like, God. Yeah, I forgot that. Like God, Ironically, because we so never posted it, I just so entertaining. Fought, I forgot that half of it existed. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, uh, so much on, of it, I was like, oh yeah, we did say that. Yeah, well, that did happen. Very yeah, funny on rewatch. Right. Yeah, and if you think so, mm. help us out. Yeah, spread all right. the word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. This is a call to action. Yes, to everybody. We all do right? this every episode. <laughs> now that no, but this is this is legit now. Oh, it's at the start of the pod. Oh, it's serious. Huge. All right. Huge. 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 Now, our numbers have been growing, mm. but they could be growing more. We are well in the plurals. All right. We are well in the plurals. But if you enjoy what we do mm. and you really, I don't know, vibe with us and if enjoy think, the content. And if you think it's and think great. That, and you think it's great um, and you want to share it to other people and you think other people would enjoy it, tell them, show them, promote it, share our stuff, get it out there, share it on like, Everything you've got. Yes, And it'll sir. really help us out. We've got everything. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. The whole thing. Name it. We got it. Name it. We got it. Mostly. Mostly. Get to sharing. Get to sharing. Put Get it in your Tinder there. bio. Put it in your Tinder bio. Put it in your Tinder bio. You screenshot it and send it through in your Tinder bio with someone asking what it is. We'll give you some stuff. That's so much. If you put it in your bio, screenshot it and send to us, you'll get a... Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. nice. Oh, but that's if someone nice. if someone mentions it yeah. in your Tinder, we'll give you merch pending. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you merch pending. Which, 100%. by the way, we did go out and try and find someone to do merch. We right? did, hundred percent. We did, and then it fell through. Right? No, it no, was, it we, was not on our end. No, not on our end. On his end. On his end. Right? We're gonna. We're not gonna name him, but we're gonna shame we him. We could. We could. We won't. We could, but we won't. We won't. It's yeah. Whatever. He goes. Oh, hey. Book me. And we're like, yeah, all right. And he goes, yeah, pay me first. Pay me half. We're like, all right, sure. Just give us a day to organize everything. I'm, we're not really ready right now. Just give us a sec. No, no. Super pushy. Yeah, this guy was book me. insanely pushy. Hey, guys, I'll do stuff for you. Yeah, book me. Yeah, no, I only work if you pay me half first. Yeah, no, pay me. Yeah, no, do it. Do it. Yeah, no, bro, do it. Do and it. Every Why you second it? day. Oh. Every second day that we wouldn't respond to him while we were organizing the rest of our lives. Yeah. Yo. Hey. Yo. Where is it? Yo. What's up, boys? Yo, brah. Oh. Yo. And I'm like, I... And then we finally... We, we pay him. And we paid him, right? Of course we paid him. No worries. We're like, here's what we want. Da, da, da. A, B, C. We do it. And then next minute... Says no, nothing. No word from him. Just no word. Says nothing just and ref- then refunds us. Just refunds us. Just sends the money back. Haven't heard from him since. That's it. Nothing. Nothing. I'm like, bruv, are you like, you're not going to say He anything? definitely couldn't do the thing we asked him to do. Yeah, exactly. We 100%. asked him to do it was a, a particular design. Yeah. Something he 100% that, did not have the skills to do it and just threw it back. Yeah. But it was something he did. Yeah. The, which I'm, I'm beginning to think that a lot of the stuff on his page is fake. Yeah. 
like super fake and but, like he just does real basic stuff that scam. he chucks in the middle. But if it was a scam, he would have just pocketed the deposit and left. But it, he he sent it back. Yeah, it was weird. It was super it weird. It was very weird. We tried to get merch. If you know anyone who's decent and not an idiot. Yes. Oh, that guy can go on my list of wankers. Yes. He's on there. Yeah. I'd have to revisit the list yeah. and see who's there. I'll do that next time and I'll revisit the list. Yeah. But he's on there. He definitely, he definitely, definitely is a hundred percent on there. Absolutely. And um, so we tried, yep. if you know anyone that yeah. wants to yeah. produce stuff and get paid for stuff. Yeah. We'll give you a slice of the action. Yeah. We'll let us you, know. You know what? If you refer us to someone and they do a good job and we end up using them free, whatever it is for you. Shirt. Yeah. Free eight shirt by 10, you, eight by 10, whatever you want. Free one item, one item for free. Except like the duvet covers. Yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> it's that's a bit much. Speaking of, by the way, you know, I was in a, um, when I was in high school. Yep. I was in a band. It was, I've, done, I've done this joke like eight times to you Shut outside up. of the pod. And yeah, I've written, I've on. done this here. Tell I was in a band. Yep. Um, it was called the duvet. No, you weren't. You weren't in a band called duvet. What did they even do? What was the music you produced? We only did covers. Shut up. We only did covers. Yep. Play the- there we go. Thank you. Great job. Now, can we tag into something? Yeah, tag. Ow. Mm-hmm. It's getting frosty. Mm-hmm. Frosty. Mm-hmm. All right, what are you doing? Do you, you want me to go? You go. You, it's you. You want me to go? Yeah, ask me to step into a universe. Oh, okay. Do you want to step into one? Yeah, go on then. Ah, oh, thank God. Why, though? Tune at- why? <gasps> yeah, why? Go on. Shout back to why? season one. Why-, why are we stepping into a universe? Uh, because... It's the Sting universe. And the that's gimmick. That's why. And that's the gimmick. Because it's not garbage. I love it. I hate it. I love it. I hate it the more you love it. Uh, good. <laughs> good. Um, play, the, play the Sting. What Sting? The 16. Sorry? On the list, 16. Oh, 16. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. Sometimes we all. A silly thing to think about. So wholesome. So sweet. So wholesome. So darling. It's. I didn't know there was le- there was that it's, little of it. I thought I would have rambled. It's molasses on the eels. I thought Is that I, good? Molasses in your ear? I assume not. I don't know because a lot of people say stuff like that. Have you had molasses before? Have you eaten what it? What is it? Gloopy sugar? Yeah, okay. So it's like maple syrup. Uh, if maple syrup it's, was... Is it thicker? <laughs> Does molasses have a dumpy? <laughs> Is that the difference? Almost certainly. Like when you go to Wendy's and you're like, "Can I get a milkshake?" And like, "No, we'll give you a thick shake." And they just they get the. Why do they say it like that? They get the they get thick the shake. Yeah, and they get the worker that's been like squatting huge, and they go, "Come out of here, someone wants a thick shake." Ew. And they just give you a milkshake like a normal one because they give it to you. It's a thick shake. Oh my god, that was tedious. Yes, that. Uh, what a long winded four out of ten joke. Welcome yeah. to the Brode hashtag no plan B pod, everyone. <laughs> no, molasses is like they feed horses and stuff. And it's just like, I don't know, you know what? Molasses. Citation needed. Isn't I, that that um, uh, continental country just off the coast of the southeast part of Asia? Molasses? Jesus Christ. Well done. Yes, it's uh, molasses. Isn't molasses um, yeah, when, you're, on, when you're possessive of that um, heroic dog from the 90s? That's molasses. Oh, that's a stretch. Oh, mo- oh no, my last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my lassie. My lassie. Lassie. Yeah, yeah, my lassies. Yeah, my yeah, That's good. Yep, okay. Um, I don't know what molasses is then. I've lost it now. Yeah, uh, well, we said it was um, uh, thick. It's horse thickness. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you get. That's horse thickness? It's horse thickness. Oh, farlap. That's, farlap. How they, that's how they measure horses. Farlap was molasses? Yeah, that's how they measure horse thickness in molassi. Molassi. They are three molassi long. Damn. Or thick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Less horny, please. Less horny. <laughs> Less horny, please. No, I think we were the right amount of horny. All right. We're going to talk about silly things. That was too horny. Yeah. Yeah. The deep gri- Talk about silly. Yeah. Bring the pod back on track. All right. Let's talk about silly things. We got too wild then. Um, this, this is for everyone to play along with at home. And you have to send your answers in though. Otherwise, it doesn't count. And Gabriel's the winner. Yeah. I'm always the winner. That's it. I'm always okay. the winner. Now, you have absolutely mm. zero time to think about this. Got yep. it? Gotcha. All right. You have mm. 
Three. Okay. Count them. Three jungle animals. Right. That you can take into a bank robbery. Okay. But. But. I have set citation, like rules. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I like Number it. one. I like it. You can't have the same animal twice. Easy. Right? Yep. Number two. Yep. It has to include the arrival and the getaway. Okay. Yep. So your plan has to has to include all that with the three animals. Yes. Easy peasy. Number three. Yep. The normal laws of society apply. Okay. You can't just walk into a bank with an elephant. People are going to be like, "That's an elephant." Call the cops. Gotcha. So the normal rules of society apply, and okay. you have to find a way around them. Right. Finally. Yep. The bank layout. It's okay. one big room. Yep. With. Like a lot of bank tellers either side. Either side. Yeah. So like, Righto. so like a, a hallway of tellers. Yep. And one big cartoon vault at the end in a back room. Right. Is it sort of U shaped? Yes. So the vault is behind the desk. Yeah. The the if you imagine like yeah, it's a U shaped yeah, teller, like just, a Hogwarts situation. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm there. But but it's the vault is behind in a back room. Yep. So you're not going to steal from the vault in the middle of everybody. Yep. That's it. What three animals are you taking and how is it working? Right. So the first one I'm going to need is an elephant. Jungle animals. A elephant is the first one. Is that jungle? Are you no, going to allow definitely it? definitely savannah. Oh, for crying that's out loud. That's jungle. Oh, okay. We, we're being particular out here. Yes. At this point, yeah. So, I, all right. What jungle animals are there? A toucan? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what that else? was the other thing. You have a month to train it. From wild or from uh, hand raised? From hand raised. Hand raised. They all hatch at the same time. Wait, so uh, so if I pick an elephant, I'll only have a one-month-old elephant? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So they're only one month old? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. okay, no, six months. Okay. Six months, there you six go. Six months, okay, okay. You get a six-month-old elephant. Okay. If you pick one, which you can't because which it's not I a jungle. Which I can't because it's, <laughs> it's, 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 not a it's not a jungle. All right, so jungle. So I'm thinking jungle, right? Okay. Monkey's the first one, right? What Easy. kind of monkey? Uh, chimpanzee. Right. How okay. are you getting it in? Well, that's oh, no, the, sorry. Wait, that's no, no, you go. One. Yeah, you that's go. the All first right. one. Okay, chimpanzee. That's the first. First one's chimpanzee. The second one, right, I will probably pick the toucan. Okay. Interested to see how he fits uh, in. A toucan? No. I mean, I, I would have to, seeing as I have the time, I'll spend a day of the six months looking up what is the loudest bird. So I'm thinking like either toucan or like a, a parrot of some kind, right? I'm going with a macaw. I reckon, sure. Yeah, I reckon a macaw go. is pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with a macaw, right? Macaw, um, chimpan chimpanzee, and then um, I'm gonna need a battering ram of some kind. Uh, a battering ram? Yeah, I, I had elephant, but yep. Oh no! Well, yeah. No. Oh, uh, is there a jungle elephant? I feel like there could be. Oh, we're changing it up now. You said there couldn't. Well, there's an elephant it's in Tarzan. Savannah. So. Tarzan's not a documentary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't legit, yeah? Like, you know that, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, really? I'm yeah. shocked. Yeah. Shocked. Nah, dude, it's, yeah. It was, it was fake. <laughs> it was fake. a work. Yeah, it was a okay. Work. No, um, are we going to allow elephant? If you allow elephant, that'd be it. It's elephant, chimpanzee, and um, I want to allow elephant just so I can see how you don't immediately get the cops called on you for rocking up with one. That's fine. If I've got six months with it, right? My, uh, I'm walking around the elephant around the town. Normal. It's a six-month-old elephant, by the way. Normal. It's as big as me. That's... Uh, I don't know. A they... six-month-old elephant isn't that big, bro. Nah, they're huge. Six months? Yeah. They live for like 80 years. Yeah. Do they? Citation needed. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, all right. I'm <sighs> too confident with stuff I don't know. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and you <laughs> way, sell it really well. Way too confident with stuff I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, elephant. Okay. All right. Yep. And yep. within my, so within the whole time, yep. I walk around the town. As soon as I get these animals, I w walk around the town amongst the people back and forth. I'll have a macaw on my shoulder. Back and forth. I've got a chimp on my shoulder. Okay. I'm walking around. I've got the elephant around with me, right? Okay. So people go, this is normal. This because is, the normal society rules apply, but this it's is, not irregular. Exactly. This okay. is Gabriel behavior. And they yes. go, what is this? And I go, well, it's just a normal, not suspicious, three-piece uh, three um, jungle animal Combo. Ba band. Yep. I'll say it's a band. I'll lie. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I'm robbing a bank, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and that's the immoral it's, part. Yeah, I'll lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll say it's right. Yep. So as I go back and forth, mm-hmm. all good, no dramas, no worries, cool. Then the macaw. Yep. I send the macaw in. Going ape. Not ape, but like, you know what I mean? Like going crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Flies in, goes mental. Yep. Everyone's like, oh no, oh no, we've got to find Gabe. Got to find Gabe. Gabe's macaw is gone. Gabe's macaw. Gabe's macaw, yeah. We've got to find Gabe's macaw. Yep. Oh we no, oh no. Gabe to get his macaw. Yes, yeah, so we've got to go find Gabe. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Every single teller leaves the bank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Including security. I can only imagine they do. Yeah. <laughs> they all leave the bank yep. out the front, mm-hmm. chasing the macaw who I've trained to sort of just go for a bit of a, <laughs> just a bit of a, a gentle just circle nearby three blocks. <laughs> thereabouts. But not fast enough, not too fast <laughs> that they go, oh, he's gone. Charles did the right speed. They go, I'm just going to get him. I'm just going to get him. Almost like that, uh, uh, like tying a dollar on a piece of string and yep. you just just yank it a little bit more. It lands for a bit. Yes. And people, the athletic bank teller who, yes. who did like athletics in high school yep. starts the Bingo. knife edge run. Exactly. And goes, we got it. We got it. Right. They're all going. Yep, Let's yep, go. Yep. Okay. And sure. then at this point, it's an arrogant stroll in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sat atop my six month old elephant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I make my way towards uh, behind the counter. Yep. Steal all my money. Yep. All of the money. Yep. Put some, I don't know, in his trunk, I guess. Yeah, for the assist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As <laughs> yeah, a tip. He gets, yeah, as, a tip. <laughs> as a tip. Yeah, like I roll up a, or a, a heart, long ways. A fold of fifty in half and yeah. slide it in his nostril. He's, yeah, he'll love that. In the trunk. In the, yeah. yeah. And at this point as well, again, I've got six months. I've taught him to tolerate and almost it's a reward. <laughs> like I'll teach him. Like it'll be a reward. It's a trick, yeah. yeah, that he gets a, the money. It's a trick that you, you can and stuff he the fifty. But he doesn't know what he's doing it for. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, so that's that little tip there. And away I leave with the um uh sack of Sack of money with sack a dollar. Sack of useless monkey. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> sack of useless chimp. <laughs> He's running reconnaissance. <laughs> no, I completely forgot about the chimp. <laughs> No, I mean, no, I mean, like, <laughs> what a ripper. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Oh my God. The chimp, that's right. Um, Ah, oh, crap, the chimp. <laughs> yeah, stop it. He's in a sack of money as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's so funny. Yeah. I sat there. <laughs> waiting for you to introduce the monkey. Yeah, nothing. Right until you were like, yep. And then I just leave <laughs> with a sack of, oh my, like, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, he's forgotten. He hasn't got the monkey. No. Yeah, no. Um. Yeah, I don't, yeah, the chimp is just um, uh, <laughs> aesthetic. Like, yeah. He's just, a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's just latched on, on my shoulder the whole time. Oh my God. Just for fun. I'll teach him to talk and, Monkeys can't talk. I'll teach him to like. He can sign though. Yeah. Give him the cocoa treatment. Yeah, yeah. This is not signing. <laughs> this is no. hot potato. Yeah, you just hot potato to the camera. Just hot potatoing. Um, yeah, no. Well, what are your What are your three? Oh no! This was This wasn't a Trent plays as well game. This oh. is a This is a Gabe plays and. Yeah, Trent let picks us know. Holes apart in the theory. The thing is, it's airtight. It's yeah, it's it's airtight. <laughs> it's airtight. I see no failures. I couldn't. Um, legally, don't do that because we'll then be um, uh, implicated. Implicated yeah. is that the right word? Well, yeah, implicated. We'll yeah. be implicated. Accessories. We're accessories. Thank you. Accessories to bank robbery via useless monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> nah, good I just stuff. imagine the lineup of like it's you holding the card and then it's the elephant trunk wrapped around the thing and yep. the core holding it. And the monkey's just like, like, are you like, what do you want me to do? Like, yeah, yeah. Why Why am I in this? Yeah. Oh, lovely. All right, tag. Hey, Trent, you want to step into a universe? All right, if you must. Let's play the sting. Okay.
Oh, this is so epic. What segment is this going to be? Ladies and gentlemen, I think you all know what segment this is. It is... Actual Factual. This is so cool. This is so epic. It matches the segment. This is amazing. Yes, this is going to be on every Actual Factual segment. This is so cool. How good is season two? The sting season. Get around the stings. This is a great sting. Anyway, actual factual. We'll fade it out here. Actual factual. Ladies and gentlemen. I love it. No fade out. No fade out. No fade out. So, this actual factual is a listener submission from a cowboy. It's an honorable mention. Oh, nice. I have not. It's an honorable mention, so it is not actual factual. It's not an actual, actual factual. It's it's just actually inaccurate. It I don't know. Inactually, it. It's it could be inactual, infactual. But for oh. all we know, it is. This has come this through. This is real. This has come through via um, cowboy. So it's come through via uh, culp. Yeah. How do cowboys send messages? Uh, te- telegram. telegram via Telegram. Smoke signal via uh, smoke signal and Telegram. Um, I definitely had a mail service. I'm he, sure of it. Yeah, male, female, whatever it was. They had, um, yeah, he, he smoke signaled me the TikTok. Very good. Of this. So he was like, actual factual. So honorable mention. Okay. I, I still need to look this up, make sure it's legit. But the dude was very, very convincing. Anyway. Okay. In Australia, mm-hmm. you can walk into any martial arts dojo. I saw this. I don't think it's real. I'm going to say it anyway. I think That's it's That's why fake. it's honorable mention. But the right. dude was well convincing. Anyway, yeah, well, in really- Australia, you can walk into any martial arts dojo and demand hand-to-hand combat with a, sensei, with a sensei there. If he refuses, then legally, they have to give you a black belt. If he accepts and you beat him, then they also have to legally give you a black belt. If he beats you and you die from your injuries and has one witness to say it was a fair fight, then he cannot be charged with manslaughter or murder. Likewise, if you beat him and he dies from injuries, you can't be charged either. Depending on the state or territory you're in, if you have any special moves, you have to declare them first and you have to show a special demonstration. Special moves? Yeah. Like a shuriyukun? Sure. Or like a, yeah. And, and you got to one of the- like, like, I, You have to declare, by the way, I have I can a super do this. special discus roundhouse kick. <laughs> That's very, my mum says very cool. But the- the, one of the replies was, oh, yeah, if you, uh, if you do this and you, you do kill someone, then your hands have to be um, registered weapons. No. And, like, because in Australia we don't have the concealed weapon law or whatever, like, you have to – you can't conceal weapons. Like, so if, your hand, if you've killed someone with your bare hands under this law, your hands are then declared as weapons and you can't wear gloves anymore. That one – is so dumb. Is the one where I'm like, I reckon this isn't real. Yeah, a hundred percent. I I was in. I like I was in, and then he was like, Yeah, you can walk into any dojo and demand hand to hand combat with a sensei. I'm like, that seems real. Mm. That seems like you should be you should be able to do that. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, But if you win, you legally get a black belt. I'm like, That's not how grading systems uh, work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I don't walk onto an English Premier League pitch, and if I I demand penalty to penalty combat with the goalkeeper, and if I score, I'm you, a registered you, Premier League you, striker. Yeah, you get his contract. Yeah, it's it doesn't work like that. Yeah, like it's you, not. Um, it's not a demonstration of skill. It's not a championship belt. Yeah, it's like not if a you title. win and then that's it. You're there. No, I, I I beat you. So give me a black belt. Yeah, that's not how that works. No, 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 no. Um, on upon that theme. Of should this be an honorable mention or is this an actual factual? Yep. I want you to pick the next three and tell me if they're legit or should be honorable mentions. Okay. Do you know whether they are or I not? do, I do. And one of them is an honorable mention. I do I, I do know them, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, all right. Oh, yep. I, well, I can't say one of them is or isn't. Okay. It could be all three honorable mentions or it could be all three actual factuals. Actual factuals because that is the nature of the segment. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Or like I said, it could be one and two, two and one, whatever. Yep, sure. Okay. Yep. Okay, cool. Play along at home. See if you can guess the yeah, see if you factually guys can get inaccurate it. fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us if it's, if it's um, honorable mention <clears throat> or actual factual. All right. The luckiest and unluckiest skydiver ever. Joan Murray, 46, completing her 36th dive about 45 seconds after falling. She pulled a ripcord and it didn't deploy. Yep. But... That's why you have a backup. 
So she pulled it back up, but she pulled it at the wrong angle, angle and started going into like a death spiral, right? As she was going, uh, as she was going down, her friends were sat there watching. At about seven hundred, six to seven hundred feet, she started plummeting to the earth, hit the ground at a hundred kilometers an hour. Right? No. Broke every bone in her body. Like yeah. supposed to die. Yeah, she's dead, right? bro. Goes to the hospital. Docs, doctors were baffled that she was still alive. And then after like an hour or so, she started getting like red dots and rashes on her body. The doctors figured out that she had landed on a fire ant's nest and they injected her with venom that triggered her nervous system and pumped her body full of adrenaline. That kept her alive long enough to get to the hospital and make a full recovery. She hit the, bro, she hit the ground so hard, it knocked fillings, it locked the fillings out of her teeth. <laughs> so, Trent O'Day, is that actual factual or no. should, is that an honorable mention? I'm, or is that a, ne- a citation needed? I feel like... I want to say it's it's. This happened in 1999, bro. Yeah, right. So initially, I'm like, there is 90s. no way. There is nobody. Somebody. There's no way somebody hits the ground that hard and survives, right? That. Yep. Hundred kilometers an hour, bro. Well, that's got to be terminal velocity, right? Probably. Like, once, like, once you get to that speed, you can't get any faster. Any faster. Like, no. it's that's how fast you are falling. Yes. So if she's not like spread out or trying to like reduce her speed in any way, mm. she's falling at terminal velocity. I don't know if 700 feet is enough for you to reach terminal velocity. I don't know exactly how, how fast you need to be yeah, for I terminal velocity. I guess I don't really know how far you need to fall for that to happen, mm. but I feel like... But 100 kilometers an hour, bro. That's 100 how... kilometers an hour at the ground. And like long drop, sudden stop, man. Like that <laughs> yeah. is... The... Boom. Yep. Yep. Oh, bro. Um, I'm going to say it's real. I don't... The fire ants thing is weird. Like, does, it's, is that... It's, yeah, it's I get it. They it's pump... A, it's, it's an a, encompassing thing. But surely her adrenaline is already pumping from, you know, hitting the floor. No, like it was like an adrenaline to tr- keep her heart pumping. Uh, yeah, I'll say it's real. You say it's real? Yeah. Do you want me to reveal now or at the end? End. For at sure. the end? Yeah, okay. 100%. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um... All right, second one. The CIA tried to assassinate Fidel Castro over 463 times. That's so many times. There was at to one try point anything. At one point, they tried to um, kill him with an exploding cigar. Um, a guy tried to shoot him with a rifle. Um, in 1964, they tried to throw grenades at him at a baseball game, but all the conventional. Okay. 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 <laughs> Like he wasn't, as in, as in they pitched it to him. <laughs> like it and he was playing. No, yeah, and he 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 rejected the idea. <laughs> they they pitched it to him, and they were like, "Hey, we're gonna throw grenades." He was like, mm, "No." As in, no, was he batting? No. And they, they, bro, what a time to throw a grenade when you're batting. <laughs> like, and they threw grenades. At oh, him? other batting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, he wasn't playing. He was in the stands. Yeah, and someone the just stands, lobbed a grenade. And yeah, coming back and forth from the stadium, and they threw a grenade at him, but. The conventional styles of assassination kept failing. So the CIA had to become more crafty. So they tried, they tried to rig up a small cigar with a small amount of explosives that would eventually blow his head off. They even set up like with his ex-lover to poison him and he picked it. He knew she was trying to poison him and he was like, he gave her a gun. He goes, um, he goes you want to kill me? Here, have the gun, do it yourself. And she couldn't do it. He dodged every assassination attempt and then eventually died at 90. Uh, repeat, what, what's the number again? He, what's the assassination uh, number? 463 times. No shot. Do you reckon that's, Bro, that's a, that's a uh, citation needed? Have you attempted one? anything 490 times? 463. 463 times. That changes it. Anything? 490? Not believable. Have you attempted anything 460 times? Um... Not nope. No, you haven't. No. You know why? Because at four sixty two, bro. Four sixty two, you're like, nah, that's it. You're tapping no. out at twenty. But like, it could be stuff like, like it was. <clears throat> they could count stuff like, oh, uh, he was walking. He was uh, on a parade, and they fired a rifle at him, and they missed. All right, that's one of them. 
And so every subsequent bullet after that, where they're like, well, at different given- times, at different crack. times, obviously, yeah, at different times. Nah, bro, no, the, no. Right. Look, right. I'll, be, I'll be honest. I'm organizing an assassination, right? I have options A through B. <laughs> right? It's why, it's why you're not a Fidel um, Castro is going to be in this parade. He'll All be right? fine. Kill him. Didn't work, boss. All right. Uh, go do to it. his house. Exploded. Didn't work, boss. He's not. Uh, meh. We can't do it. He's invincible. Yeah, he's invincible. He, he will, is. He is the queen. He's Queen Elizabeth. He will never die. He will never die. He's Queen Elizabeth. He's Vince McMahon. The fact that somebody then tried 461 times. Po- someone. It wasn't. Should same. have been fired. Well, maybe they were. And he just kept dodging him. At what point do you fire somebody? How many attempts? Yep. It so w- you're, it so wouldn't you're be the same guy. So you're President Gabriel Adams. Okay. <laughs> I, I have to change my name to get into Congress. Yeah. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Come on, man. It's a, it's a white man's game. Yeah. All right. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, um, it is. You're President Gabriel Adams. Yeah. And it's, sir, we need such and such taken out. Yep. You're my head of security. Yep. Do it. You kill them. Like you've said, go and kill this guy. I reckon I give him. How many attempts do you give this guy? Uh, he wouldn't come back with different attempts. He'd just be like, I'd be like, you need to kill him. And then I'd be checking in and being like, hey, I can see he's on the TV. Just want to <laughs> make sure that I'm, f- I'm just following up. Kind regards Because the you're president. a good man manager. Yeah. That's how you get the results. I'd you want to like, make yeah, people feel do wanted. It. And, and then after, like, I'm like, all right, look, hey, bro, what's going on? Let's have a chat. Is everything all right at home? You're the kind of boss that's okay? like, hey, sit down. And then to relate, you put your feet up on, sit down. Hey, I'm having a great time. I, me and you, we're the same. We're the same. We I'm the on same. your level. It's just, I get paid a hundred thousand dollars more than you. Exactly. But that doesn't, that yeah. doesn't discriminate. I that just doesn't, ne- yeah. doesn't change us. I just need you to do one small thing. Look, it's not even, don't even worry about it. You know what? Ask your assistant to do it. Maybe like, that's fine. I don't care. As long as it gets done, you know? Yeah. That's all that really matters. Right. At the end of the day, I'm here to upskill you. Exactly. The morale. Your assassination. The morale in the office is a little bit low. <laughs> a little bit low. I reckon you're about two more attempts and then we've got to throw a pizza party to bring it back up. <laughs> How many attempts in a number? Uh, before I fire my head of security? Yep. Um, if he comes back with me, like come back to me after like two months and he's like, hey, I've did it 40 times and it hasn't worked. I'd be like, look. Maybe don't do this anymore. Yeah, probably maybe. around 40. 40? I reckon 40. But like I said, it's a check-in thing. You don't get to 463. I once tried to open a tin th- of spaghetti. Yeah. I this, couldn't this do it same within thing. three times. This is the same thing. I threw the tin out. Oh, fair enough. And got a new tin. Yeah. That tin opened first go. Hey, man. You know how many attempts it took me? Four total. Bro. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's the same. <laughs> Opening a tin of Peeling spaghetti. a man's cap back with a, <laughs> with a bullet is exactly the same thing. <laughs> Removing the muffin top? <laughs> Removing the muffin cap of a man is exactly the same as opening a tin of spaghetti. Yeah, you that's four. Enough. Look, man, they did it you the JFK. You four cracks of it. They did it the JFK. Have you that's seen? a different segment. That's, a, di- <laughs> that's, a, that's yeah. a different segment. But, okay, cool. That one's citation needed. I don't believe you it. You reckon citation yep. needed? Last one. Okay. All right. The... Uh, entirety of World War II yes. would never have happened if Hitler went to arts school. Uh, that's so, not true. Growing up, Adolf Hitler was super passionate about art. When he was a young man, he applied to the Vienna Arts Academy, but he was denied entry twice because his drawing skills were too unsatisfactory. He then went into... His, then, his next interest was politics. Um, and... He, which began with his admiration of Vienna's mayor, Karl Luger, a very outspoken anti-Semite. That began the birth of Hitler's hatred of Jews, and the rest is history. Quite literally. Um, that's subjective. What do you mean? What's subjective? What's the subjective it, it did, Nothing's to say it wouldn't have happened if he'd have gone to art school. It just may have taken longer to get there. How do you know? If he went to art school, he wouldn't have done it. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't if he have, went he to wouldn't art school, been, he maybe still would have done it. Or maybe he wouldn't have crossed paths with Karl Luger and wouldn't have been that much of an anti-Semite. Or maybe he drops out of art school six months in, pursues politics anyway, still meets Luger, and then he goes anyway. Wow, really good. You, you, you um, Austrian? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Part Austrian. Yeah. Nice. It's Trent O. Um, Erde. Trent O. Uh, Schwarzenegger. Trent O. Uh, uh, Dazen. Yep. De- Dazen. Trent O. Dazen. Trent O. What's yeah. a, another Austrian name? Think of an Austrian footballer. Alba. No, not Alba. Um, Alaba. Lewandowski. He's Polish. He's Polish. David Alaba. Trent O. Dalaba. Yeah, there you go. Smashed it. That's Austrian. Woo! <laughs> um, that was a close one. Yeah, no, he... That's subjective. That's mm. the citation needed one. You can't... Right. That's not... Okay. True. So, results? Yeah, results. Go on then. All three actual factual. Yeah, of course they are. All three were actual factual. All right. We're going to go into a little bit more. All right. Last one. Fourth right. one. Big fourth one. All right. Big, big long... Big old Spielen, Spielenhausen. Okay. Um, so, nicknames, right? Everyone's got nicknames? Yep. Everyone's got nicknames? Yep. The, they date back to um, a time... So the reason we did them is because way back when Mm -hmm. um, in England, about half of the men in England were either John or William and the other half were either Richard or Robert. So then last names were passed. They were passed down from like father to son. They didn't happen until around the year 1100. So surnames came from either your occupation or your lineage, like John the Smith, John Smith, or Robert Williamson, Robert Williams' son. Right? Okay. Yep. So to keep it, that was just to, to keep so to keep people legit, nicknames were essential. So a popular trick that they did in the Middle Ages was to create rhyming names, and there were two proposed path, paths from getting William to Bill. Now the first one was shortening um, William to Will and then rhyming it with Bill, and the other one was that in Gaelic the W sound um, uh, over time started. Uh, in Gaelic, they they turned the W sound into a B sound depending on how it's word, uh, used in a sentence. So then Will became Bill. Richard got shortened to Rick, which then became Hick, and then became Dick. Letters H and D were popular for rhyming, um, just like the initial consonants for B and W. Now, for example, mm-hmm. right, another one, right? Uh, the original rhyming nickname for Robert wasn't Bob, but it was Hob or Dob. Okay. Right? And you can see that now in modern last names like Hobson, and Dobson, right? Huge. Harry, the name Harry. The derivation of Harry can be traced to the arrival of the French in the 11th century. The French nasal pronunciation for Henry or Henri became anglicized to Harry. So if someone, anyone that's Harry, they're a Henry. Um, Margaret to Peggy. Oh, this is a good one. Huge. Um, this was a shift in pronunciation and language fads. So Margaret was shortened to Marg, but then mm-hmm. because the, the the R sound drops in certain dialects, it then became a much more gentle Maggie, which then became Meggie. Then in the 1500s, there was this enthusiasm for changing, for, uh, for creating rhymes from M to P, which became Peggy. So it was Margaret to Marg to Maggie to Meggie to Peggy. Jesus. Edward to Ned. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. This is this was f- uh, from a way of speaking that they had at the time, right? Which was uh, using the current uh, edition of mine as a way of claiming personal or fram- family relationship. So Edward, that's related to me, is mine Edward. Mine Ed. Mine Ed. Mine Ed becomes mine, Ned. Mine Ned. This is called rebracketing, right? Rebracketing. And the whole, the whole genre, the whole word of a nickname, right? It doesn't come from Nicholas, right? In the Middle Ages, they used to call it an eek name. Double E-K name. Eek. Eek name. Eek name. Which simply an meant, eek name. Which simply meant an additional name. And then when you re-bracketed it, it became an eek name. Uh, nickname. A nick, a nick name. A nickname. A nickname. And there you go. That's nicknames for you. Wow. All of that. Actual factual, except for the um, martial arts one. Um, cult. You stitched us up. But we're all closer together. There was a what lot a of time tension. we've had. There's a lot of tension in the room, but now there's not yeah. because of the stitch up. Because of the stitch up. And it's all good. Tag. Hey, Gabriel. Yes. Uh, yes. Would you like to step into a universe with me? What? Wait, finish this for me. <laughs> yeah, go. Ooh, that was awful. Sorry. Um, Apologies. Finish this for me. Apologies, everyone. Sorry, Apologies. Mm. Wrong emphasis on the wrong salalable. Finish this for me. Yep. Jack of all trades. Uh, master of none. Keep going. That's it. Jack of all trades, master of none. 
You don't know this either. What is it? Well, so more many, to it? Okay, right. So, story time. Mm. I so everyone always goes a jack of jack of trades. They view it as a as a bad thing. Jack of all trades. No. Uh, yep. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. They go, view go, it go. as a bad thing. Yes. 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 So everyone goes, oh, he's a jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. He's I a- never knew that. I always saw jack of trades as a good thing because I know the end of that saying. That's, yeah, I was going to say it's jack of all trades, master, master of, of none, none, but is oftentimes better than a master of one. There you go. And so I never knew mm-hmm. that jack of all trades was seen as like a bad thing. No, well, originally it was what you said. Yeah. It was what you said. It was that. But I always knew the end of that sentence. Mm. So I'd always go, ah, oh, jack of all trades. And then like, you go, yeah. yeah, master of none. And I'm like, keep going. Finish it. Keep speaking. And then people would be like, what? And I'd be like, and is oftentimes better than a master of one. And they'd be like, yeah, that's what? And then it's like the whole thing. Yeah, mate. You slugworth them. Yeah. So I was like, right. So Classic then. Classic slugworthing, that one. There's a couple that I found that's like that. Oh, I love this. Right. I love this so much. So. Play the sting. Uh, there is. It's not really a sting because I'm going to go into something else. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. So. It's a sujet. Yeah. Great minds think alike. Uh, great minds think alike. Uh, fools never differ. Yes. And fools seldom differ. Fools seldom differ. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So no, I didn't know that one. I had no idea. Yeah. Like it's a, um, yeah, it's sort of uh, the way uh, the way I always heard it was like, oh, great minds think alike. And the response was, yeah, fools seldom differ. The idea being, don't get too big for your boots, kid. Yeah. You're not that great. Chief, yeah. fools also great minds think alike, same. but also yeah, idiots do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, God, man, I love this. This is fun. So this was a, a little bit of a change. You could have fun on our podcast, right? Learning is fun. I did. Um, so this is not necessarily a change in the phrase or uh, an addition to the phrase, but the way it's changed. Mm. So be the change you wish to see in the world. Oh yeah. The phrase itself is a simplified idea oh. from the works of Gandhi. And what he actually said was, as a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. Oh, boys, that's so deep, bro. That's so. That is. That's a. That's that's three meter water in a public pool, bro. That is so deep. So deep. <laughs> so deep. That's um, bangers, bro. That's sick. I, right. I love stuff like that. I'm all for stuff like that. Curiosity killed the cat. Uh, don't know the rest of it. But satisfaction brought it back. There you go. Oh, nice. So the last half of the phrase drastically changes the meaning of that phrase. Yeah. Because the cat gets to live now. Yeah. So. That's bangers. If the cat's death is preventable. Yep. Just give it the ball of yarn and they'll be fine. So yeah, if the, if the cat, like if, if they're looking, if someone's looking for something, they're curious, oh, curiosity killed the cat, mm. but it's not going to hurt them if they have it. Mm. Just give it to them. Just allow them to be curious and show them what it is. Yeah. Nice. Um. All right. Uh, money is the root of all evil. Uh, money is the root of all evil. Um, and Kanye said the time is money. Uh, time is money, right? Yep. And uh, Kanye said, uh, women is it equals time and money. So then that means, um, women equals time plus money, and time is money. So it's women equal money times money. So women is money squared. And what did you say? Money is the root of all evil. So that means um, if you square both sides, you get money squared equals evil. And as we said previous, money squared equals women. Women equals evil. Have you seen that? <laughs> you've no, you've smashed it. Is that that's the In same one? That's the quote. That's the from, quote from start to. It just rolls off the tongue. So the quote came from six ten of um, one Timothy. Yep, First Timothy. Yep. First Timothy. Yep. And the full version is the love of money is a root of all sorts of evil. Mm. Instead of just money is the root of all evil. It's the love of money is a root of all sorts of evil. Gluttony. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, but it was destroyed in something, something. I can't remember. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it burned in one. There you go. That's it. Which I think is... That's, that's not, uh, uh, not pardon the pun, deliberate pun. That's uh, fire. Yeah, it's so good. I, I really, really like it. Um, right. This one, this is the last one. And this is really, really cool. It's not a change. Like it's not an addition to the quote. It's how the quote has changed to mean something else now. Oh, lovely. Blood is thicker than water. Uh, that was, uh, 
Oh, you're gonna say it, but I've yeah, I've, I've yeah, I've heard it. I've heard the different one before. Go on. So this is one of many Bible verses that has been misadapted for common use. Yes. Because the word covenant doesn't roll off the tongue in everyday use. Mm. However, the real version completely changes the meaning. Yep. The quote comes from. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. There it is. Which actually means that That's the blood it. shed in battle bond soldiers more s- battle in battle bonds soldiers more strongly than simple genetics. Yep. Whereas now we use it to sig- signify family ties being stronger than those from the outside. Yeah. Yep. 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 Where it's com- it it's came the, from oh, completely yeah. a, a flipped yeah. flip saying. Yeah. 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 So we say it now as blood from your family is thicker than water from the outside, but it's the other way around. Blood shared on the outside is thicker than water of the womb, the mu- the family. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. Um, That's so cool, man. I, I love stuff like that. Yeah. There's like a couple Random. more that are that are kind of cool. But like etiology and stuff, like the- How um, it all changes. Yeah, like the roots of words, bangers. Yeah. Bangers. When they have good stories. Yeah, bro. I'm all for a story. We so do you know the story. nice guys finish last quote? Yeah. Yeah. So the guy who said it, Derocha or Derocha, uh-huh. Leo Derocha. Okay. Leo the Lip was a manager, a baseball manager. Okay. Um, and he said, all nice guys, they'll finish last. Okay. He didn't say nice guys finish last. He said, all nice guys, they'll finish last. He clarified that the misquote wasn't what he meant. He said, I never did say that you can't be a nice guy and win. I said that if I was playing third base and my mother rounded third with the winning run, I'd trip her. Right. So he was he was like he wasn't saying that you can't be a nice guy and win. He's more saying that like he more meant you have to be ruthless in order to win. To win, yeah, okay. But yep, he said yep, yep. all nice guys they'll finish last. Yeah, right. So you yeah, yeah you need that mix. You need, you need mix. that mix. You need of the both. mix. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You need that grunt. You need that uh, that uh, bastard. Yeah, there's just like there's such a cool like I I just love that sort of stuff. The bastard puck, the bastard puck. Anyway, so I thought, you know what else I say wrong? Here we go. I can't say Gologly Lane. The best place for you to find baked goods here in Townsville. And you know who should go there? Talk to you. Talk to you. Talk to you. Even though, even though right. half of you, nearly half of you, don't even have a Facebook, Facebook, Facebook page. page. <laughs> Mitch Ryder in the Detroit, whatever it was, they got tagged on that bloody post. All right, you guys, you're gonna get it. One day we're gonna get there and we're gonna beat the snot out of you, and then we're gonna take you to Vegas Marie, right down to Gologly Lane. We're gonna take you to Gologly Lane in Rasmussen Townsville. Three's Michelin stars. We know Michelin stars. Why? Travel the multiverse. That's the one. And we know Michelins. Th- we know stars. That's fine. Top tier. When you get here, you're going to go to Big Bummery and they're going to tell you, you're cheating oh, top tier. Oh, that's nice. They're going to tell you, oh, that's, that's nice. nice. But you're cheating top tier. We but know you're cheating. You're cheating you you all, all the time. Us a little... you're absolutely everything. Psst. So, yeah. um, Big Bummery, they sponsor our podcast. We yeah. love them dearly. We and love they them love so us. They do. Okay. They love wrestling. They love, love us. A, they love us. Yeah, absolutely. So we greatly appreciate their sponsorship. So yeah. if you're in the Townsville area, head out. Go and Bake Bummery. Tell them bro they sent you. Oh. And, and you'll, oh, you'll probably go. get a, oh, that's nice. You will get a, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And um, if you sh- take a photo with a front of shop, we'll yeah, share it. do and that. And we'll at the very least give you a, oh, oh that's, that's nice. nice. And we did. When Barb's went. Babs. Bob's. 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 When Bob's, Bob's went. Bob's. Bob's went. She said it through. We yeah. loved it. And it was nice. It was nice. Um, all right. Oh, one more thing before mm. we tag out mm. into the the end of it. Yep. <laughs> Top tier. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Trent. Mm. The, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is, that was the episode. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we'll do a roundup in the a wrestling roundup in the next. Yeah, we didn't realize how much fun it, we were having in this episode. We got to fifty something minutes, and we yeah, did so much actual factuals. Yeah, there's many facts to be actual. Well, most of them legit. Honorable mentions are in there. If you've listened this far along, by the way, get out there. Tell people to listen to our pod. Tell people to support us. All right, and we keep doing this, and we want to hope you enjoy it. Yeah, that's how we know, right? We know you enjoy it by you telling, "Hey, check these guys out." They're, They're super funny. fun. They're yeah. pretty fun, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you, you gas us up huge. We, need we go- know you do. We need to gas up at some point. We've got to gas someone yeah, up at some gas point. Somebody up. Yeah, oh, they were so fun. Yeah, they were good. They we'll were do great. It next time. I remember gassing up um, 
Uh, this is before he joined Top Gear. Tim Tate. Before he was Top Gear. Before he was at Top Gear. I remember gassing up Tim Hayden. Tim Hayden was my boy. He used to be my boy, my boy. No, you're not. You're a. T- <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Anyway. You go on these tangents. I just growled at him. You go with me though. I just down, growled at him. Down, down Trent. Down, down, <laughs> down boy. Down boy. Um. Yeah. So that's that's the outro. Yeah, that'll yeah that'll calm everyone right down. Um. No one's ever responded well to being growled at. Thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching remember to like comment subscribe um give us a five-star rating on spotify yeah do that give us a five-star rating on apple podcast if you write a review we'll read it out yeah there you go the good ones yeah the good ones. yeah <laughs> yeah don't bad ones. don't don't be too honest please we have, yeah lie we lie gentle. about it lie about it lie how good it is no say how good it is say how good it is but also lie about it yeah, sure just get people to listen um Anyway, if you want to follow the tag team on the socials, it is at Bro Day Tag Team on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and on YouTube as well. Hit them. You can follow me, Trenna Day, at Oday QWA mm. on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I don't have much TikTok content. Can someone give me ideas for TikTok content, please? Just the I trends. feel like it's. I don't know what the trends are. Bro, the Gabriel. stuff you, the stuff you like, the stuff you share to me. It's memes, Just bro. recreate them, bro. I, I created the meme. My one, bang. The Stormzy one. Oh, yeah. How good was that? The that's background. That's really good. Yeah, I need to do that. Yeah. Um. So if you want to follow my TikTok and Which my has Facebook, content. Instagram, and Twitter, it is at the real Gabe bro. Other than that, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this far along. We love you. Bye. Bye. Tag out. Never do a backhanded tag. No, I don't. Good stuff. Am I keeping this in? Am I going to keep this in? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Where are you going? Well, I have to stop it there. <laughs>